just let go. What you're imagining right now, you control this world. Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to transform into the baby doll character from the movie Sucker Punch. So ever since I saw the movie, I've been very inspired by the costumes and the makeup and this look was just so much fun to do. So this look features some very dramatic um, lashes and liner and also very full on pink blush as you can see. And at the end of the video, I'll also tell you guys how I completed the hair and the costume. So keep watching. Pow pow! So starting off, I'm not wearing any makeup, I've just got a moisturised face and I've also applied some primer as well um, to prepare for the foundation application. And also today I'm wearing a pair of grey contact lenses which I bought from Shanghai and this is for dramatic effect. So in the movie, Baby Doll has perfect porcelain skin so I'm actually going to use a foundation which is a few shades lighter than my own skin tone. So I'm using Maybelline's uh, Dream Liquid Mousse and this is in Classic Ivory. And today I'm going to apply it um, using a damp um, beauty blender sponge. And also don't forget to blend the colour into your neck as well. And next we're just going to cover up any further imperfections with a concealer. So I'm using Maybelline's Mineral Power Concealer in Ivory and I'm also going to blend it using the Beauty Blender. And finally, I'm going to set the foundation for a flawless matte finish uh, using Revlon's Photo Ready Translucent Finisher and applying that using a stippling brush. Now before I start defining my eyebrows, I'm just going to remove some excess product using a cotton bud. Because Baby Doll has light blonde hair, um, her eyebrows are also very light. So what I'm going to do today is to define it using some eyeshadow. So I'm using the Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette and just picking a very light brown. So I'm just using this one here and I'm just going to lightly define it using an angled brush. So I've already applied some eyeshadow primer to my lids and now we can get started on the dramatic eye makeup. So first of all, I'm going to use a shimmery white eyeshadow to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and also to line my bottom waterline as well. So I'm just using my Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette again. I'm just using this white eyeshadow right here and I'm going to apply that using the spongy applicator that came with the palette. And next we're just going to outline the top eyelid with a pearly brown eyeshadow. So again using my ADA Warm Palette, I'm just going to use this um, brown right here and I'm going to outline it using a flat shading brush. And 
And now taking a fluffy blending brush, just softly blend out the edges of the brown eyeshadow. And next, taking a pearly beige eyeshadow, um, we're going to use it to fill in the middle of our eyelids. So I'm just using one from Napoleon, it's in shade 47, and I'm going to fill it in using an angled eyeshadow brush. And now using a very light champagne coloured eyeshadow, we're going to put that over the beige um, in the middle of our lids to highlight it. So I'm still using my 88 Warm palette and just choosing um, this colour right here. And I'm just going to apply with my fingers. Next, I'm just going to line my eyes using a black gel eyeliner. So I'm just using my MAC Blitz and Glitz Fluid Line and I'm applying it using an angled eyeliner brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my eyes from the inner corner outwards and then I'm going to extend the wing to where my um, brown eyeshadow is. Now big dramatic false eyelashes are a must this time around because it's one of the key elements of baby dolls look. So today I'm using these really long and full eyelashes uh, which I bought from eBay. And another very noticeable feature of Baby Doll's look is her bright pink blush. So today I'm using my Benefit Bella Bumba Boxer Powder and I'm going to apply that using an angled blush brush. So I'm just going to start off high on my cheeks. I'm going to sweep downwards to the apples of my cheeks. And I'm just going to soften it a bit with a rounded blush brush. Now Baby Doll has very full lips and because my own lips are quite thin, I'm going to create an illusion of fuller lips by drawing my lip liner slightly outside my natural lip line. So I'm just using a lip liner from Savvy, it's in the shade of Carnation. And now I'm just going to fill in my lips using a pinky nude lip colour. So I'm just using YSL's Lip Twinks today. Um, it comes with a really cute pull out lip brush. So now we're all done with the baby doll makeup look, but I also want to show you guys how to complete the hair as well. And at this stage I was really undecided because at first I was just going to tie my own hair into two pigtails, um, but then I really wanted to complete the whole transformation. So I'm actually going to put on a blonde wig for you guys. So first of all I'm just going to tie my hair into a high bun. And next I'm just going to use a nude coloured wig cap and I'm going to tuck all my hair in so that my black hair is not showing. And now taking my blonde wig, this is one I got from eBay, um, just make sure it's nice and neat so give it a bit of a brush.
And now part it down the middle at the back and then tie it um, into two pigtails. Unfortunately, the fringe is not exactly like baby dolls because she actually has two long fringes uh, part of to the side, um, but this will have to do. And also she wears um, a blue headband. So I'm just going to um, use two of these thin ones that I got from the $2 shop. And finally, to complete the outfit, I'm just wearing um, a schoolgirl costume that I bought off eBay. Um, it's not exactly like baby dolls because hers is um, dark blue, but any schoolgirl costume will do. She also wears a holster for her gun, so what I did was I tied a thick um, brown belt across my waist and then a thin plaited brown belt um, just over my shoulders and I just tucked it into the belt here. And importantly, I also have my weapons. So first of all, I've got this awesome samurai sword that um, I borrowed off my boyfriend. Um, it's quite dangerous, so I don't advise you guys taking that out in public. And I've also got this cheap toy gun from the $2 shop. Doesn't shoot anything. Um, and also I'm wearing some thigh-high black socks and also some really high black pumps. So I'll just show you guys the completed look now. So that's my completed tutorial on Baby Doll's dramatic makeup look from Sucker Punch. Um, and even though it's definitely not an everyday look, I think it will really come in handy um, for fancy dress parties or for Halloween. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun um, watching this tutorial because I had so much fun making it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Um, yep. Okay. Okay, that sort of suits it. <laughs> <laughs> and also very full-on pink blush. Oh. Ah. Stupid thing. I you can see it even. Not really. Yeah. If I punch like that, 